What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How about that opening clip? I thought you'd like that. Anyways, I'm Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and this last five days or so has been wild for me. Uh, I won't bore you with the details, but a ton of IRL stuff mixed in with a bunch of Modern Warfare 2 game time. Yeah, uh, lots of hours awake, very little sleep. It's been nuts. But today we are back in the Division 2 and taking on the Chirpy League. The challenge mission is Potomac Event Center with top tier times coming in in under 20 minutes. This shouldn't be a problem for you. I used this full red DPS Strikers Battle Gear setup with a Picaro's holster and I thought... You know, why don't we bring out the old Eagle Bearer, which, by the way, I got on my very first ever raid attempt. Crazy story. Anyways, as always, thank you for all the continued support. Make sure to smash that sub button and ring the bell to receive all my future upload notifications. Enjoy the live com. Remember, you can find and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and over on my community Discord server. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer signing off. Yay! Potomac Event Center, Challenge Difficulty, Chirpy League. Let's do this thing. Probably going to go in, record an intro for this. Hopefully this will be my top time and uh, show you the build. But a quick description, I am using a four-piece Strikers uh, Battle Gear build. Excuse me. And uh, instead of using the backpack, I'm actually using a Seska backpack for more crit chance. And I paired it up with Bloodsucker since I'm not using the backpack. I don't get any healing. Um, and even on challenge difficulty with an all red. Ow! I heard him coming and got stuck in a reload. Even with an all red build on challenge difficulty, you know, these heavy gunners can mow you down pretty quickly here. So decided to go with Bloodsucker. Uh, a little different there. Maybe for a little extra bang for the buck, because I can tend to hit headshots. Uh, I could have gone with something like Concussion. Um, Vigilance probably would get knocked off me pretty quickly, but Concussion would have been a good one. But, you know, I figured, let's not die. Look at all the bonus armor I got. Holy hell. Anyway, uh, I kind of made my way through the Chirpy League a little earlier today. The, I guess, hard difficulty mission shouldn't give you any problems at all, but I'll tell you this right now. Playing MW2 third person has absolutely wrecked my game style and my aim. My aim tends to be okay, but uh, I guess with the camera rotations and everything, if you play third person Modern Warfare 2, which by the way, I know a lot of you are out there, um, you'll understand what I'm talking about. It's a little different coming back, and when it comes down to good aim and, and staying on target and things like that. That's all muscle memory. It's all feel. God, they are sending everything out of here after me. Uh, and I have found that Modern Warfare 2 has hurt my Division 2 gameplay and game style and everything like that. Let's hit these guys with a Banshee Pulse. Even things like just activating skills, um, which on COD are just taps of keys here you have to hold them down just things like that you have to reacclimate yourself to all right i had some decent aim there oh they put a heavy out here hit the headshots hit the headshots oh i didn't kill him are you kidding me I heard one of those rushers coming in let's finish this guy up there we go you're ripping him up there we go. get some fire down there and fire there And I lost the drone again. That's a shame. Recorded a time, I think this morning of 1019. That was about an hour ago. I had some work stuff I had to do. Uh, unfortunately, I found out that I did not have the game sound on. Yeah, new move. Scuffed, scuffed YouTube streamer here. <laughs> the YouTube content creator. So I was like, ah, holy crap. So I decided to go back in, re-record. Hopefully I can lay down a time better than 1019. This time I actually have my headphones on. Earlier on, I was uh, actually listening to music when I was playing through this. So hopefully with game sound on, I can at least record a time better than 1019. Anyway, back to Modern Warfare 2. 
maybe leave me a comment if you would please for all of you out there that watch it and thank you again for all the support again if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button please do so hit that thumbs up notifications bell all that good stuff it's greatly appreciated uh anyway considering uh that modern warfare 2 is out there's a ton of people that own it, a ton of people that play it is that something that you would consider wanting to see on the channel and the reason I ask is because I'm almost exclusively playing third-person mode, uh, but I have an issue with my internet connection. I have Comcast. I have their absolute primo, excuse me, residential package. I almost choked on my own breath there. Um, I almost choked on saying the word Comcast, the internet provider who will not be named. Anyway, um, I have great download speeds. There's one up there. Get it, get it, get it. Uh, yep, got it. Uh, I have great download speeds. I can download it close to a gig. My problem is upload speeds. And I don't know if COD is on peer-to-peer -peer connections, but what I have found is I cannot run around like a speed demon putting on these ultra uh, entertaining gameplay clips because what I'm finding is I'm losing a ton of gunfights uh, even when I'm getting the first, second, even third... There's somebody down there. There he is. I'm getting first, second, and third shots on target. Oh, crap. Not here. Come on. I should have downed that veteran if I was not on fire already. It's that guy right there. You die. Uh, anyway, I'm finding that I'm losing a ton of gunfights in Modern Warfare 2 if I run around. And I think it's my internet connection. So, like I said, I can download it close to a gig. That was a nice Banshee pulse I just put on there. Uh, I can download it a gig, but I can upload only, and it's throttled. Maximum upload speeds are 40 Mbps. That's little b, by the way. So there's a difference between bytes and bits. Anyway, Mbps, little b, upload, throttled. And I'm finding that I'm losing gunfights. So, long story short, what I have to do with COD... Oh, they put a veteran up there. Okay, get out of here. Of course, the drone's just sitting there doing nothing. Uh, what I find with COD is I have to basically crouch walk around, uh, aiming down the sights, and I, I'm always living right on the edge of life or death because every single gunfight that I get into, um, I take so much incoming damage even though I get first, second, third shots on what I'm shooting at. It's just a matter of, I guess, you know, server side, client side. You know what I'm saying out there, everybody. Anyway, is that what you want to see on the channel? Maybe leave me a yes, a no. Do you want to see some live comms? I don't know. Maybe I could do some weapon reviews. I've had people ask me for those before for COD. I guess I could do those and, uh, you know, make recommendations for setups on the weapons. I'm doing okay with those. I, I'm not really big on going for camos and gold camos and platinum diamond camos and it, all that stuff. Anyway, the last COD I really got into was the original MW2 from 09. I actually posted a photo of that over on Twitter. True story, I actually shot at Kelso there the first time I played this mission. Um, let me hit these guys with a Banshee Pulse. There we go. Get some. Yes. They always turn their backs. They wiggle and jiggle around. Damn it, take the bullets. Let me hit those headshots. There we go. Like that. Uh, anyway... With the original 09 uh, MW2, I went for a lot of the achievements. Uh, you know, get 25 nukes, etc., etc. Oh, that was a good little door spawn I got on there. Banshee Pulse. Boom. I went for a lot of the achievements, but I really didn't, you know, go for the the camos or, you know, 100% of this, 100% of that. I just really enjoyed playing that 09 version of the game. It was fun. It was intoxicating. Um... We're going to see how this one pans out so far. I'm I'm kind of mixed on the maps as far as COD right now. Especially with third-person mode, you've always seen the same thing in the rotation. It's always the same five maps or so. And it's either Hardpoint, TDM, or Domination. Uh, some of the maps, by the way, are like the Embassy map. I mean, they're just so tiny. They're, it's a square. So, I don't know. Is it something you want to see on the channel? Leave me a yes. Leave me a no. Uh... You know, is it a weapon review thing? Is it a live comm thing? Oh, dude, not a reload now. Come on, hit that. There, got that one. Look at that guy peeking there. Oof, got him. All right, so on the first named boss, we want to push up here onto the door. We'll hit him with a Banshee Pulse. The second one, he's a little harder, so we're going to back off of him. 
that's what I've learned. But and I'll go stand on those servers again. Yes, yes, and he'll be over here on the left. There he is. Got him. Nice. One's still up there. Jump down. There we go. All right, got him. All right, so back to the servers. We'll take the second one from the servers up here. I like standing on the server so I can get up onto those balcony areas, or else you're going to struggle when you're right up on the stage. I have been reading, though, uh, one thing with Call of Duty. Get down, get down, get down. This guy hits hard with this LMG. Headshots, headshots. Finished him. Beautiful. This might be my record time here. Damn, I'll oh, reload. Come on. I should have hit a reload prior to that. Uh, and what I'm finding is a lot of features uh, that have come on previous Call of Duty games. Um, things like Tier 1, which is hardcore... Um, basically stats tracker, you know, career, that kind of stuff. It's all kind of missing at game release, which is kind of odd. I've heard some people have attempted or when they bought like their vault edition or whatever they got, they thought they were getting the double XP tokens, but that wasn't really a thing. Give me a 10. Give me oh, 1001. Damn it. Anyway, uh, their double XP tokens were actually only if you pre-ordered the game while in a older cod version you had to go through the cod store you know online so anyway let me know appreciate you all tagging along appreciate all the continued support there you go to 1001 i'm happy with that till the next time this is buzz peace out